What do you buy someone who has everything? Well, an American billionaire has bought himself a slot in history, becoming the first person to take part in a commercial spacewalk. Jared Isaacman stepped into space, saying, back at home we have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. It was a perfect moment, too, for Elon Musk, the billionaire owner of SpaceX that's behind the Polaris Dawn mission. Callum Fairhurst on a dangerous, daring adventure. Inching his way out of the hatch, catching a glimpse of the world below, hundreds of miles above Earth, the first ever privately funded spacewalk. American billionaire Jared Isaacman was the first of two astronauts out of the hatch. His first words... Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. At three times higher than the space station, no one's been this far up since NASA's moonwalkers in the early 1970s. Billionaire Isaacman teamed up with Elon Musk's SpaceX to make the mission possible. This morning's other spacewalker describing beforehand what she hoped they would achieve. Thus far, really only countries have been able to perform a spacewalk. We're going to be, be doing a lot of, of data finding, fact finding that we can then bring back to make future spacewalk operations or, you know, future suit design even better. And I'm adequately able to stabilize my body with single hand disturbances. Gillis was hot on the heels of Isaacman outside the capsule for about 10 minutes. Though fraught with danger, there are plenty of others hoping to head up. Callum Fairhurst, ITV News. Our science correspondent, Martin Stew, has just returned from watching that moment live with astronomers at Greenwich Observatory. And what a moment it was. I mean, remarkable pictures and a remarkable achievement. Don't forget these four people in that capsule are, are civilians. They're space tourists, really, funded by a billionaire. And yet there they are opening the hatch, stepping out 700 kilometres above Earth. That's nearly twice the altitude of the International Space Station. And seeing that view, wow, wow, incredible. And it's a lot of firsts as well. They're wearing these new sorts of suits. They're much thinner, completely different to the bulky sorts that you'd have seen Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin mm. wearing. And that enables you to open the entire capsule and depressurize the whole thing rather than needing a separate airlock. And that's important because as we look further forward to potential missions to places like the moon, even Mars, you're going to need new technology that they're trying out here. And you're going to need the private sector to mix it with companies like NASA. So this potentially is the way forward as we look towards a new age of space exploration.